okay hey welcome back all right so today we're going to be doing a apron all right this is like a retro style vintage type apron i had this fabric it is two yards it's about 44 inches wide um i got it from joann's they had like it was like 40 percent off it was already pre-packed they have like those a lot lately um so i'm just going to cut start cutting right away <laughs> i'm just gonna start with the skirt piece you should press it out I did not press out. Don't don't be like me. I folded it in half, and I'm I don't know why I measured that way because I just went with the 44 inches that it was wide. But um, if you know if you want to make it a little sh shorter, you can. But um, 44 inches wide, and then I did about 22 inches down. And because it's a cotton fabric, I just did a little snip and I teared it. Like I said again, you should press it. I did not. I cut off that little piece on the side. Again, I just tore it. And then you can go on to the next step, which would be just doing around the edges of it. So here you can press it and you can pin it, which I didn't do. We're just gonna fold it under a little so that you can sew it down. You fold it under a little and tops, you know, stitch up, um, making sure that you're not too close to the edge just enough to, you know, to tack it down, all the way down. And you're gonna do the same thing on three sides. So the bottom side, the two sides, you see how it is there. And then I just fold it under again so that everything is nice and even and neat looking in the inside. And you can pin it, like I said. Um, press it and pin it, it'll make it easier because like with the way I'm doing it, I have to adjust it constantly throughout to make sure that it is lining all up. As, like I said, I did it around the three edges, the top, I mean the bottom, and the two sides. You can, I surged the top there. You can um, do the same thing with the top, and then when you close it in the inside, it'll look, you know, real nice and neat. But I didn't do it, because I didn't feel that was a necessary step for the way that it was. All right, so once you're done with that, then you can go on to getting the top piece ready, which is what he called the um the bib okay for mine i cut mine too long at first i made a few mistakes it was late i was tired i did a few things a little off so don't do that but i i would go the measurements i would go with for the bib are 13 by 16 13 across to cover you know a little bit of your boob area and uh, about 16 up and down should be average for a regular torso um, I made it a little longer because I do have a long torso, but it was unnecessary for the apron. So you're going to cut two pieces of that, which I did. Um, like I said, I was measuring mine a little bit long. You can see it's like really long looking there, but I just snipped and tore and then cut that in half so that I had two pieces. And then you're going to do, you can, you can do straps out of the same fabric. Cause like I said, I had two yards of the fabric. It would have been enough to make the straps for the top also. But I wanted to use um, these ribbons that I had. This one was from a, the one I'm using for the top was from like a backpack project that my daughter had got for her backpack and she didn't use. And I was like, oh, that'd be cute because the polka dot one that I was gonna use all over, there wasn't enough of it. So you could make your straps just um, taking the fabric, folding it in half, making straps. You know, like just how you make straps. I don't know. So, but I'm using the ribbon. For that, I'm cutting two of them about 21 inches long. And then I'm cutting them on an angle at the part that's going to be out so that it doesn't really fray and come apart. If you were making your own straps, you know, you would close it off, turn it inside out, just like any straps that you would make. Um, but like I said, I took two of those cut them on an angle and then sandwich them in in between the fabric with right sides the right sides again you should press at this point so that everything is nice and neat I did not this is where I made another faux pas because like I said it was late and I was tired for some reason I don't even know what I was thinking I went in instead of just going in for the seam allowance so that these lined up on the edge I went in two and a half inches which was weird I don't know why I did that but you would just sandwich them in and then go around the sides and the top to um, lock the straps in place and then to close off the sides and then turn it right side out and then the straps would, you know, look all cute. But like I said, mine were way too far in so I had to adjust it later. You could leave them like that, 
but it's not gonna sit as nice but you want them you want them over to the side you know whatever makes sense for you and then i just went back and i top stitched it so everything looks you know neat again you should press at that point because i had to adjust mine constantly but um just lining up the the side pieces so that it just kind of looked neater if that makes sense and going around the two sides and the um other side and then you can close off the bottom i surged mine but you can just you know sew across it fold it under however you want to do to make it neat but see right there is where i had to fix it up so then now my top is narrower than it would be if i had put the straps on the right way but i didn't want to take it apart and start all over so i just am going to tuck those in and then i just top stitched and um did it along the bottom so that you know there was it lined up right so when you put it together you know all right so here is where you can just really bring these two pieces together you can gather in the skirt piece and find the center and line it up with that piece and put them right face to right face and bring it together you know center to center but um i wanted to first add the pockets but if you were going to do that you can just like i said do the basting stitch like you know crinkle it up together and then line them all up and sew it together but i went on to the pocket piece before i did that um i don't really i don't really think people i don't know if you use pockets on an apron but they're cute so i just made some hand shape size so i put out my hand and then it just made a mark around my hand spread out for some reason at that point i didn't um i didn't record it i took the camera off so i just wanted to show you i fold the fabric in half and then fold it again so i could cut all the four pieces at the same time and just made the pattern myself by spreading out my hand and then cut it again same way with the top you're going to do it right face to right face put in the um ribbon or what if you're using something to contrast it whatever and stuff and just pin it all the way around lining it up along all the edges and then you'll turn it the right way out For my pockets, when I was done doing that and I turned it the right way out, I did go over it and top stitch it just like I did the bib portion just to, you know, tack it down. If I would have pressed it, they would have been a little neater. But so pressing is your friend. You should do that. And then you're just going to figure out where you're going to place your pockets when you're done. And then I also close at the top. Same way with the um, bib. Once I turned it the right way out, I sewed those pieces together, folded it down and top stitch that then you're just going to find out where you want your pockets to be and then pin that around and top stitch again to put them i did it around the inside right before the ribbon is where i did it and then i also brought the gathered the fabric together so that it can have that little ruffly kind of look did the waistband the same way i did the other straps cut it on the an angle and i cut the waistband about 42 inches so basically double the size because i gathered this in until it came to about 21 inches so i gathered the skirt in from the original 44 inches to about 21 inches and then just found the center found the center on the waist ribbon and lined it up and just top stitched it like i said you could bring the two pieces together the bib and the skirt and then just top stitch that way or you can do it this way with them separate you can also do it this way and then you've got a half apron so if you were doing it as a half apron bang you boom you're done there but um so you're just going to pin the inside of the other one so you're just sewing the ribbon on top across the bottom of the skirt and the top of the bib making sure you're lining up all the centers so everything is good and then this is it when it's done you see i did two rows on the bottom to line it up and one row across the bib and I closed up the other side and the pockets are on and it's done. So that's it. You have a cute, simple, retro style to me um, little apron. I hope you liked. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.